Look at the world. If you do evil, Allah will punish you in this wall and in the hereafter. Use the bihi, he will be paid. Nothing, you cannot escape from nothing. Madalim. If you do madlama, if you oppress someone, if you take the money of someone, if you say a bad word to someone. Isa ibn Maryam, he said in one of his attar, he said, Wallahi akhsha. I am afraid if I say to a dog, Ya kalb, with humility, with, the, with the looking at the dog down, it's the creation of Allah. Isa alayhi salam, he says to his disciple, I am afraid to, if I, if I look down upon a dog, a dog, dog, if I look at a kalb, if you tell him you're a dog, which is a dog, but you, you say it in a way that you're looking down upon, not a human being, not a certain, you know, honorable creature, but some dog. He says, I'm afraid that Allah will make me a dog. Look how the people today, they look at each other. Not only they look at each other, they slaughter one another. So all the masa'ib, because we are far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does Ramadan? It brings the people. Come. And you see it. Wallahi, we see it for 30 years. We see the difference. Shahru Tawbah, the month of repentance. And you see people are ex coming to Allah. And I tell the people, Wallahi, the best da'iyah to Islam is not you and me or this jama'ah or this school of thought or this shaykh, which is they do. But the best da'iyah to Islam is Allah. Give me a proof. Wallahu yad'u ila dar is salam. Allah is calling the people to Al-Jannah. Wallahu yad'u ila dar is salam. Allah calls the people to the house of peace, which is Jannah. So Ramadan, it has, I wanted to create that motivation because don't sit and wait until, uh, I haven't, wallahi, this has happened to me. Alhamdulillah. Somebody called me one time, I pick up the phone from the masjid and he says, you know, when is Ramadan? I says, tomorrow is Eid. Wallahi, it happens to me. I don't ask nobody. They don't even know. That's why now we have one more week. You have to start. What is Ramadan? What is the Ramadan does to the body? What's the benefit? What the virtue? How many hasanat from Allah? It's okay. Subhanallah. Let's look at the ayat and then go to some hadith because of the time. I want to be so short. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu. Look at the word. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu. Kutiba alaykum usayamu. Kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum. La'allakum tattaqoon. Well, I think the word is like the father is talking to someone or like somebody he's talking to his child or something. Allah says, Ya Ayyuha, all you who believe in Allah, all you have faith in Allah, you have faith in the day of judgment, fasting, kutiba alaykum as was prescribed on you. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he says, every time you hear Allah says, Ya Ayyuha ladina amanu, a'iha sam'ak. Pay attention, listen to what Allah is saying. Look at the word of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. He said, فَإِنَّمَا خَيْرٌ تُؤْمَرُ بِهِ أَوْ شَرٌ تُنْهَا عَنْهُ Allah will never tell you except two things. Either a good, when he says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا He says, listen to Allah attentively with all your heart and your body. Allah is going to tell you something good to do or something bad to stay away from. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So Allah, now He says, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ And then He's look at Allah, knows there is a little bit of مَشَقَّة And this مَشَقَّة on it is your savor. Ramadan saved people from the hellfire. And the believers are waiting for this. We are waiting. Not because I am strong, I can do Ramadan, no problem. No, no, no. Because I know my neck. There is a hadith, by the way. There is people every day. وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءُ مِنَ النَّارِ كُلَّ لَيْلَةٌ Hadith Sahih. In the Ramadan, every day, every night, Allah saved millions of people. عُتَقَاء Plural, plural. عُتَقَاء Many people will be saved. Their neck from the hellfire on that day. We don't know them. Allah knows them. That this guy, he's supposed to be in the hellfire. Because in Ramadan, he came... And he listened to taraweeh, he listened to one word here and here, his heart becomes softened, he becomes sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, changed his life. And he changed the direction. He was going to the hellfire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I saved him unto Jannah. Walillahi utaqa. Al atiq means somebody saved some slave from, from some difficulty. Allah saved them to Al Jannah. 
So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he says, Allah will call you to something good that will benefit you. Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. Kutiba alaykum al-siyam. And then he says, Kama kutiba ala al-ladheena min qablikum. He says, don't come. Ramadan is prescribed upon you the same way it was prescribed on the people before you. Ramadan is not Muslims are inventing the Prophet Muhammad SAW. Invent. Allah says, this is my way. All the prophets, all the nations before, they, Allah has prescribed on them the fasting. They may be different ways. They change it later because there is no preservation. But the, the way that Allah wants the people to fast is now preserved. The best way is in Islam. كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ For what, ya Allah? What's the wisdom? He says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ You are going to become muttaqi in order to have taqwa. And taqwa is the, the path to al-jannah. So taqwa, and then he says, look at, look at the beauty of Allah. فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا If you are sick, if some of you are sick, أو على سفر, or maybe you are traveler, فَهِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرْ Because so many people, they think, okay, no, no. Do other days, do some other days on the winter when the days are short. You don't have to put difficulty. You read Allah and you khafifa ankum. Allah wants to make it easy for you. Allah says in the same ayah, that's the only ayah that talks about Ramadan, inshallah. I can only cover so much. And those who find extreme difficulty to fast because some women are pregnant, this is included, Abdullah ibn Abbas, they are breastfeeding. Allah says, don't fast, make it another day. And in, in this ayah, he says, pay ransom. For every day you pay per feed one poor. It's like $10. You can buy chips and food and meal, one meal for somebody. Allah says, if you can, don't do it. What a, what a beautiful Allah. This, this ayah, subhanAllah, if you look at it the, with, with the, the heart of, of Muslims, of a believer, you look, there is all rahmah. Everything is rahmah. In this world and in the hereafter. And then, he can, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, if you travel or don't do it, if you are sick, no, ask your doctors, ask them, and so on. And then he says, again, comes back, he says, Shahru Ramadan. He's, he's inviting you to say, the virtues of this month. I prefer this month over. Allah create the heavens, seven heavens, and he prefer the seven one. And he make it, and he make it the, 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 the bottom of his, of his throne. You know, seven, the throne of Allah is above the seven heaven. So Allah create and He prefer. He create the human being. He makes the prophets and messengers the best. And He create the prophets and messengers. And He made Ibrahim and Isa and Muhammad وسلم, the best of those prophets. He created the days. And He make Yawmul Jumu'ah the best. And He created the month. And He make the month of Ramadan the best month. And then the ayah says, وَمَن يُعَظِّمْ شَعَائِرَ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ Whomever magnifies and respect what Allah respected. فَمَن يُعَظِّمْ شَعَائِرَ اللَّهِ The rituals of Allah, the commandments of Allah. If you do ta'zim and you magnify the, what Allah magnified and you make great what Allah made great. He says, this is taqwa. You have taqwa of Allah. شَهْرُ رَمَضَانِ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked this month to reveal the Qur'an on it. And then he says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ 